I feel like that this Mike Glennon move is a good one by the Chicago Bears. I like the deal. I like Mike Glennon. I think he's fine. I don't think he's. <laughs> think I don't he's think fine? he's. A, I don't think he's yes. a world beater. The praise is rolling in for. Mike I'm Lewis. telling you because people, everybody's <laughs> making a joke about it. I think this is a good move for them. I think. I think. Jay Cutler is the greater talent, but <laughs> by the end of the day, with everything around it, what? I think this is. I think this is at worst. I think this is a wash for the for the Bears, and maybe a mild upgrade. Mike Glennon is not is not atrocious. I, uh, if we could if we could get that all put on a plaque and put on a trophy for Mike Glennon. Mike like, Glennon was worst, in Mike, At worst this is a wash. And Mike Glennon okay. was dropped in on the Buccaneers in a dysfunctional situation. You'll remember what was happening there with Josh Freeman and then he had to take over and he never got a full run at the gig and this team was not uh, was not where it is now. I wonder what Mike Glennon, Mike Glennon was fine in in relief. You, I like in this. You. Mentioning Josh Freeman there because I don't it, think he's terrible. It, it's something that that I haven't thought about because we're willing to go back at 2013 and look at that and say, well, looking at 2013, if you extrapolate, you could say that Mike Glennon is going to be good. Why don't people do that for Josh Freeman? Well, jo- why don't people do that for Josh Freeman? Yeah, well, because well, Josh Freeman had his stuff going on the uh, off the field. That's what ran him out of football. It was. It's not his performance well, then, on the field. I, I just. It seems like we're we're reaching to to try to and yes, I love it. because that I goes back to my my statement, my ancient, my ancient one of my one of my uh, one of my uh, wise one of my wiser statements in the last uh, half dozen years ha- or questions. In a world of seven billion people, how can it be so difficult to find thirty-two humans to successfully play pro football at quarterback? And the answer is. It's obviously very difficult because yeah. we can't even really get the twenty. Right. In given that reality, Mike Glennon's fine. That's what not I, a crazy what I'm thing is, to pay him fifty million dollars. What I'm saying dollars. is, why do we reach for Mike Glennon? But there's so many other people that we don't do that. Well, with. the Saskatchewan Rough Riders just reached on uh, one Vince Young, who shares a name with the guy from Texas who won the Heisman Trophy, and they yeah. played for the. Why not? So that's the same guy. I just wish everybody got treated the same as Mike Glennon. That's all. That's all I want. If, if we could all be as fair to everybody else as we are to Mike Glennon, that would be cool. My Mike Glennon. I mean, I just I, I think people kind of forget because I, I I don't remember seeing him play very much recently. Like he's like really tall. Like <laughs> like I, it's just a different. Like I I guess my He's the same height as well, I think actually he's a quarter of an inch taller than Brock Osweiler and the same as Paxton Lynch like the it's an interesting kind of those big tall guys mm-hmm. and the cool thing or the interesting thing here is that that Bears O line is most of the time tackles are paid more than guards just 31 other te- well, 32 teams or 30 teams have tackles paid more than guards in the case of Ryan Pace and the Bears at least last year I haven't rechecked now with all of the different things last year their guards were paid more than the tackles which is a strategy he adopted from the Saints the Saints have a different sort of quarterback Drew Brees who's actually not as tall and a very more he can get away from someone running after him right he can escape the pocket he's very mobile so it's an interesting to me like potentially potentially incongruent strategy if you have tackles who are and I'm not saying payment is the exact proxy for how good you are but if you're using it as a proxy for how good you are it's kind of an a back an inside out it's an incongruent strategy so to me that that's an interesting one we'll see but the one thing I have heard about Mike Glennon that I didn't hear about Paxton Lynch or Brock Osweiler or anything is that everyone in the locker room loves him He's a locker room dude. Every I've heard nothing but like glowing reports. See, that's things. nice. My hypothesis has been since day one: the reason he, people aren't hipper on Mike Glennon Hip. is because of the punim. They, they he doesn't look like an NFL. He doesn't look like a leading man. Does, I encourage does Brock you. Brock Osweiler look like he him? Obviously, yes. He obviously Brock looks Osweiler like, does look like, like that. Dave, he looks like somebody who could sit on a bench for four years and get fourteen million dollars. Mike so Glennon so doesn't. Mike Glennon doesn't look. have the face of a leading man. I'm and this, at it right now. <laughs> this trips people up more than uh, they'd be willing to admit. He I, looks I, that, fourteen that's my million little, dollars to me. He's listen. You you'll wait and see. You'll but see. People it, love him. They love him. You'll like see. Like other he's players just fine. love him. He's, There's something to be said be, for that. He's got to be a really nice person.